Estamos no ar e é dia de fora das quatro linhas na tela da Botafogo TV, diretamente da Barra da Tijuca, zona oeste do Rio de Janeiro, onde mora o japa mais amado desse Brasil e que está aqui com a gente para falar um pouco desses meses desde que ele chegou ao Botafogo, sobre a sua adaptação ao futebol brasileiro, os desafios em atuar em meio à pandemia, tudo que ele já aprendeu aqui e também pôde ensinar. Kesk, welcome to Botafogo TV. Thank you. Yeah. Eu queria que você fizesse um balanço desses quase seis meses que você já está no Brasil, que você já está no Botafogo, um momento que acaba sendo diferente daquele que você chegou, com toda aquela euforia no aeroporto, torcedor, uma vez que agora a gente precisa jogar sem torcida por conta de uma pandemia. Você sabe, foi o dia mais amazing para mim quando eu cheguei no um, Brasil pela primeira vez. Unfortunately, we haven't prayed with the supporters yet. Um, this is really bad. Um, I'm missing them because I told you before I why I decided to come here is a lot of supporters were excited when I considered to come here or not. So I have I have been here for six months, but you know I still I'm excited to play for all supporters, and I'm waiting for that, and I can't wait to play with for for supporters at the stadium. Falando especificamente sobre a pandemia, de um lado extra futebol. Como você vê a sua evolução pessoal e uma evolução da sociedade, uma vez que este momento requer muita reflexão? I have been thinking a lot of things during this pandemic because I don't think anyone expects to happen like this before and we had enough time to think what is our lives. You, you see, because the, the governments, the most of governments uh, prohibit the people to work no more and they, we had to stay at home. And still, some country have to stay at home, but on the other hand, they have to work for the money for their lives. So, you see, everyone don't want to lose their lives because of this crazy virus. On the other hand, they have, to fall, they have to earn money, they have to make money to work for their own families. This is very uh, very unrare situation happened uh, for all people and also I thought, what what's, what's is my life? It is, you know, every, everything has pros and cons. And I have never thought about that. So maybe I should think about it positively. It's, uh, but I, I'm sad, you know, a lot of people died of this disease and you know and they still keep going and we no one can't find what's the best solution right now that's the problem that we have to be patient to to face to this coronavirus for long time. Not, I don't think we can solve this problem right now, so, you know, we have to be patient. A gente sabe que você é um atleta que vem de uma cultura asiática, né? A sua nacionalidade 
tem experiência também internacional em diversos países, em outros clubes. O que te chamou mais atenção no futebol brasileiro e no Brasil nesse tempo que você está aqui até agora? I still don't know everything about Brazilian league and everyone told me the Brazilian scheduling is very difficult to adjust big country different weather and very short term so Paulo our manager told me that I think we need more player than 11 players otherwise we can't play well whole season because of these these conditions are really tough i i've been learning about brazilian soccer why brazil is the best country in the world and you know i also saw a lot of great players in ac milan and you know csk moscow you know and other play other places you know even against Well, yeah, I, I'm enjoy, I, I, I enjoy to learn it and I want to, you know, you say that I, what can I contribute to the Brazilian soccer, but I, I'm feeling that how I can get experience from Brazilian soccer. So I'm hungry to learn and I want to I want to improve myself. Same so far. Como você acha que pode agregar ao futebol brasileiro sim, fazer a diferença nesse tempo, nessa sua passagem aqui no Botafogo? Yeah, I think I think that what I what I better and I can contribute for Botafogo is uh, I think yeah, he's right. I, it, I had that experience. I think someone has more, the more good technique and more good physical, but you know, the soccer, sh the football should be uh, more organized. No one can win alone. We have to know how to win the game with the team, not alone, not individually. So the important thing is, is we have to understand what we're gonna do, what is our strategy, you know, what is our goal. We can lose against a strong team, but I don't want to lose against, you know, weak, like, I, I don't say, I don't want to say weak team, but you know, the team, the maybe then weaker than us. So that means I have to talk with the other players who don't understand this method and what I'm thinking and Paolo is thinking. This is my task and we have to play constantly same quality for all seasons. That's, I think I, I can help the team. Você é um cara que tem uma visão macro de futebol assim, encaixa muito com o nosso treinador, o Paulo Tuori. A gente tem um menino, um jovem talento, o Matheus Nascimento, que subiu esse ano aos profissionais, ele tem apenas 16 anos, e a gente percebeu que no seu primeiro contato com ele, você quis saber como ele estava na escola, você quis saber sob o ponto de vista da educação. Como você vê a importância da educação na formação do jogador de futebol, como atleta e como pessoa? Um, yeah, this is a little bit complicated questions because my activities of education uh, come from like the, uh, the experience where, where I got uh, South Africa and abroad when I went to there. Um, But I think that what I learned and what I'm, what I, what I'm thinking about education is 
apply to communicate with the uh, young players because I like I like talking with the players and I like uh, educating with the uh, like young players and you know the children and you know what is the children uh, what, sorry uh, what the education is beautiful is once you get some skill and knowledge you never lose in your life you the 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 things you get always help you it's very very useful but of course like money or any other assets you can you you're going to lose if you do bad you know that's you know like always like this but ability and knowledge and skills you never lose so that's why education is education is very beautiful and i want everyone should get the high quality education don't matter where you are born how much you have money any kids any children should should get you know the high quality education that that's I'm, that's why I'm, I'm doing like this Honda, falando agora da recepção do grupo do Botafogo você já falou da sua experiência internacional o futebol brasileiro o Botafogo de fato é um ambiente onde o, o clima os jogadores tem essa recepção mais calorosa um, yeah, at first I can't speak Portuguese, but you know, they are very welcome to me. Uh, they were very kind to me when I arrived here. So it's been community, commun communicating well. And you know, I'm very comfortable and very, I, I, I really appreciate it to them. Um, I think that we need the time to to understand each other but it's been getting better i'm i'm so glad to to be here with the old players and the, also supporters you know it is my um how do you say the maybe only the the memory of moment for all my life so i don't wanna i don't wanna waste time and i i wanna keep doing my best not only for the game even training you know that's uh yeah, I. Yeah, I really, I really appreciate to, to all people who are involving for Botafogo. You see, it's a very nice club, very, very family club. I, I, I really love it. A gente pode perceber, Ronda, meninos formados no, no Botafogo, como o caso do Marcelo, do Caio Alexandre que obviamente estão realizando sonhos pessoais e profissionais e estarem atuando ao seu lado. E são esses jogadores que a gente percebe que tem um entrosamento maior com você, é, te chamam para brincar, se arriscam a falar inglês, você brinca de falar português com eles. Até onde esse ambiente no dia a dia ajuda no entrosamento fora e dentro de campo? Sim, eles são os melhores amigos um do outro. Eles sempre estão juntos. And I just like to see those views. And, you know, also maybe that's why they understand each other and they look, they look, they look trust each other. Uh, it is very important, this team, especially when we will be struggling we, when we will struggle as a team, you know, we need uh, some strong mentality and we have to trust each other. Still not happen like that, but it, it will 
happen for sure. So those teammates like Kanu, you know, always stay with the Kaio. I'm sometimes kidding to them. You know, I said like you know very bad words. Um, <laughs> so because they are men to men and they're always together, you know. I think you you can guess what I what I told them. So, um, but they always also you know try tried to talk to me. It's uh, very helpful too. Um, also Nazario, you know, and Nagachito and some players. We don't speak in English, but you know, the soccer need, doesn't need um, like just one language. We are getting underst to, to understand a little by little on the field. That's how I'm feeling. E agora, para finalizar, Ronda, já vou agradecer a tua participação. Queria que você falasse um pouco do lado de dentro do campo. Como que você está encarando o desafio de ser capitão da equipe do Botafogo, de ser uma referência, uma liderança técnica também da equipe? E como você está vendo a sua maneira de atuar, jogando um pouco ali mais recuado, ao lado do Caio, fazendo a construção de jogo? I'm, I'm feeling that I'm proud of this club and I'm proud of myself of being captain of one of the biggest and the, the traditional club in the Brazil. Um, especially, you know, I'm a foreigner and I can't speak Portuguese. Uh, that judgment, uh, I, I'm feeling, you know, very res respectable. It is, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to, 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 to be a captain here and but on the on the other hand you know i have to find what i have i can help the team as a captain because because i cannot speak in portuguese but like behavior and some you know the some just a small words always i'm looking for the best words for the team you know even I can change a little. Um, the, on the field, you know, the Kaio or other young players shouldn't think about entire teams too much. Uh, they, their quality and their characters needs to be free when they get ball. And, you know, I should see their action first and I want to adjust what's the best for the team. That's why so far I'm a little bit, you know, more balanced with the Kaio because his quality and his style should, should play more freely. But that this is the, uh, I think best way and I, I, I've been doing well with the Kaio so far and I believe that we can get better. And I hope that we, we're gonna play, we are gonna play much, much better place than last year. Portanto, esse foi o Honda falando com exclusividade aqui na Botafogo TV. O nosso Japa, quero agradecer a ele por ter recebido aqui no, no seu prédio, na sua residência, pela disponibilidade. Para você, eu agradeço a tua audiência. Peço que você fique ligadinho com a gente, tem muita coisa boa vindo por aí. Se inscreve no nosso canal e o Japa agora vai deixar um recado para você em português. Fique ligado na Botafogo TV. Tamo junto! <risos> Fique ligado na Botafogo TV. Na Botafogo. na Botafogo TV. Tamo junto. É, it's difficult, man. Yeah. Fique, ok, try. So, the, to see there? Yeah. Fique, di, fique ligado na Botafogo TV. Yeah, Tamo yeah. junto. <laughs> Muito obrigado! <laughs> Hey, come on, man. <laughs>
Okay. All right. Well, you can, you can try again. Sure. Come on.